Welcome back my fantastic numismatic friends. What I've got here is a grab bag that I picked up during my travels when I was out and about on a little little holiday. And what's inside this grab bag is, uh, it's looking worse for wear now, it's just some, some foreign coins and world coins and territory coins, some flipped coins. But there's one coin in here that I want to share with you today if I can find it and grab it and get it out. We'll come back to that grab bag for a video and I'll just release this coin out of its its little plastic case. Um, but before we carry on with this coin I just want to I want to start off by saying that I'm, I'm not going to glorify the image of this coin in any any particular way. I, I, I don't approve of this image and I certainly don't want to glorify it and if I cause offence or if it causes offence please accept my apology but I, I picked this coin up and uh, I thought it was a bit interesting to research and and, and look into. So um, with that out of the way, let's have a look at the coin. So this is it, let me zoom in slightly so we can get a bit of a closer look. Now, I'll tell you how much I paid for it, now, you know, along the video now. I'll, I'll tell you where I got it from and I'll tell you a little bit of history about it. But what, what drew me to this, this coin, is can you see all these little dinks and donks along there when I found this I thought well this is going to be soft possibly you know a, a semi-precious metal silver perhaps and I found out in the research that it, it is silver so happy days um, but I found it in a drawer in a junk drawer in a, in a bookshop of all places in this little drawer it had buttons and thimbles and, and stamps and other bits and pieces and, and this was in there and uh, I thought, well, I'll, I'll see how much it is, and, uh, and I picked it up. Okay, uh, right. So let's let's get on to the coin itself. So so the specifications of this coin is uh, basically it is 29 millimeter across, 29 29 millimeters in diameter. Its thickness is 2.5 millimeters, and it weighs just shy of 14 grams, 13.9 grams, or something like that. Now this is the uh, this is the reverse side, and I'm going to show you the obverse now. And this is the side which possibly could cause offence. There we have it. Now on this uh, on this obverse we see a large spread eagle. Just here, a large spread eagle on a reef. Inside is the emblem of the Nazi Party, the swastika. Over here we've got five, we've got Reichmark there, and we've got some German text, 1936. This German text basically translates to, to, to the realm of Germany, and this coin dates from the Third Reich. The Third Reich being in the Third Empire, or the Third Realm. The first realm, you know, the first empire was, I think it was the Holy Roman Empire, um, from the Middle Ages, and then the German Imperial Empire, and then we've got the Third, third Reich, which obviously did some some unsavoury things, but in 1936, 1936 was the Berlin Olympics, and coin, more coins were minted uh, because during the research I found out that there's two there's two odd verses of this set, this coin. We've got this one with the unsavoury design, and then we've got another one with a, just a, an eagle on on that, and I'll try and pop a little picture somewhere on the screen to show you the two different designs on the edge it, it's it's um, it's a plain edge but it's got some text on there and that text basically translates to um, to say common good takes priority over self-interest and then on this side is the uh, is the reverse and we've got an image of Paul von Indenberg and some birth year of 1847 and his death year of 1934. Now before we get on to Paul Indenberg let's have a quick zoom in see if we can pick up without knocking camera everywhere see if we can pick up that there was a mint mark just there if we can get a little bit closer just there look and that mint mark to me looks like a G now um, A was Berlin and B Vienna, but G was Karlsruhe. And from what I can, what, what I can find is that the mint, 
you know, the figure of these coins was something in the region of 743,000, which is quite scarce. Now again, th this could have come back from, from a war campaign. My grandfather went to war, went over during D-Day, fought in Germany, was imprisoned in Germany, and came back and told us some tales which definitely bring a tear to your eye. Um, but he was one of the fortunate ones that did come back. So I do know the significance of this, this sort of coin. Um, but it could also have come back over with an athlete from the from the Berlin German Olympics. You know, who knows? Who knows? Right. So who's this chap on this side? So Paul von Hindenburg. You, you know, we can see a large head there. And he's facing to the right, and but he was like we said before. He was born in 1847 and, and died in 1934, aged 86. He was a um, he was Prussian. He was born in Prussia, which is basically Poland now. And uh, he was a he was a general that led the German Imperial Army during World War One. From 1925 up until his death, he was the president of Germany. And uh, he paid you know he played a key role in the seizure of power, the Nazi seizure of power. And in 1933, he appointed Adolf Hitler as Chancellor of Germany. When Paul von Hindenburg passed away in 34, Hitler became a little bit more powerful and uh, assumed the title of the Führer. And the rest we say is history. But yeah, just a little bit of a, uh, an insight into this coin. So how much did it cost me to hunt out from a little junk drawer? It cost me five pound. And because it's 90% silver as well, we have a look at silver prices they go for around about 60p per gram roughly give or take so a coin of this way possibly would you know scrap about eight quid seven eight quid the average ebay price well it, it varies because of sellers from abroad and, 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 and other bits and pieces but you could pick one of these up for about 20 quid push into 40 but if you get a really good condition one you may be talking 100 quid all depends doesn't it it all depends but i thought this is a nice little bit of something to research and uh, yeah a bit of an unsavory side on one side but, but yeah so let me know your views my fantastic friends have you got any coins like this you know um what would you do with it would you keep this would you I don't know, you know, but just let me know your views. And until next time, take care of the said, stay safe, and as always, happy days.